in alkenes there is one very basic rule which is take the double bond in your skeleton chain now in this rule it somewhat uh, you know defies that longest chain rule because there is a double bond this rule what it says is that if there are branchings and there is a double bond Mm. See this. No, not this one. Okay, this. How about this? So. we have to take the longest chain over here now if you see carefully the longest chain is this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 but this chain does not contain this double bond now since it does not contain this double bond it does not follow this rule so we cannot use this longest chain as our skeleton chain we have to take the double bond inside the skeleton chain the skeleton chain is the chain which we are numbering so basically we try to form the longest chain the we form the chain which is the longest and which is containing the double bond it should satisfy both this thing it should be as long as possible and it should contain the double bond so this should be our chain of concern this is this also contains the double bond if you see this and this they both contain the double bond but they are four membered chains and this is a five membered chain so basically if you make this chain the straight one we get One, two, three. The third one has two methyl groups, and this has an ethyl group. Okay. So we have taken this chain as our skeleton chain, and we start numbering from the double bond. One. Two, three, four, five. We, in this case, the lowest sum rule is also sometimes defied because of this double bond. You see this double bond. Because of this double bond, we have to start numbering from the point which is closest to the double bond, which is in this case this carbon. if the double bond would have been here still we would have proceeded from here if the double bond would have been here then would we would have taken from here no matter what the sum rule says so in this case 
we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from here and we have an ethyl group and dimethyl. Dimethyl, we don't consider the di, we consider only the methyl. So, ethyl will come before methyl. So, we have 2 ethyl 3 3 dimethyl this is 5 so pent in but this double bond starts from carbon number 1 so we have to name it pent 1 in if this double bond would have been here then it would have become pent dash two dash in so this is the name compound two ethyl three three dimethyl pent two in in this case and one in in this case so this is the alkene now if we have alkynes we'll have the same thing if that compound would have contained a triple bond the name would have just changed that 2 ethyl 3 3 dimethyl all that thing and it would have become pent 1 ein because of this triple bond So this is about double bonds and triple bonds. Now let us do some more examples on double bonds and triple bonds. Mm, random figure. And there is a double bond here. So, what is the longest chain over here? We have this chain, which we have to take the chain containing the double bond. So, these all, all these chains are deleted. So, we don't consider all these chains. So, we can, we take this chain, but this is four membered. And if we take this chain, it's one, two, three, four, five, six membered. So, this is obviously our longest chain containing the double bond. So, we just straighten up this chain. Okay, while straightening this chain, you can write numbers. These are not, I mean, you can write it over there only so that you know where the groups are present. So, I mean, and this is not your lowest number. Actually, I started from here because just it's just to locate how you would place your groups in the straight chain. Actually, the numbering should start from here. So, this is at number 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 1 methyl, 4, another methyl, and that's it. So, Actually, the numbering should start from here because the double bond is closer to this end. 3, 4, 5, 6. And by the lowest sum rule also, we get 3 and 4 and here also we get 3 and 4. So, this is 6. So, 
hex whatever first we write the groups so we have a 3 comma 4 dimethyl hex since this double bond is at carbon starting at carbon number 2 it's hex 2 in okay 